There are ways to really capitalize on this incredible seller's market, and here's how. Hey everyone, Mariah Talia Farrow with Premier Sotheby's. I'm an expert in Sarasota real estate, specializing in downtown Sarasota and the surrounding keys. And today we're going to speak specifically about capitalizing on the market if you're a seller. So what does capitalizing on the market actually mean? Well, it really means that you're setting yourself up and you're creating a strategy to really capitalize on the timing and the price appreciation that you can get in the market that we're in today. And you've probably read on the news that if you're a seller, there's a lack of inventory, so you are likely to get multiple buyers. But that doesn't mean that it's a matter of just throwing your property on the market and expecting that it will sell. It will sell, but it's a matter of price and terms and um, as well as timing. So let's talk about price and terms real quick. How do you actually make your property present to where it is going to get the top dollar. And I'll use some examples that I've seen in the market. Um, let's take a $500,000 property that's in an area that's close to downtown Sarasota. You might have two of the same properties. One that is nearly the same square footage and is completely vacant. And another one that is same square footage as the other one, same lot size, everything looks the same. But the difference is that one has been staged and they painted. Guess which one sells for astronomically more. The one that is staged and has been painted. And when I say astronomically, it's, you know, of course subjective, but I'm talking $30,000 more than the other property just because they staged it. The condition was nearly the same in both. They both had a dated kitchen. They both had dated bathrooms, but this one partnered with an agent who is actually a premier Sotheby's agent who really took the time to stage the property, paint it and make it look spectacular. So is it worth doing something like that? Absolutely. Do you need to do that for every property? No. And it really depends on the property that you have. And it really depends on the condition of your property and whether it's new or not. Let's take, for example, another property that um, I actually listed. It was in a new building called the Mark Sarasota, which you've probably seen videos that I've done. And this unit specifically had never been lived in. So it was a blank palette. I originally thought that by staging it would really help get top dollar for that property. And it sure it would have helped, but we didn't need it. That property went $100,000 over asking price in three days of being on the market. So new construction is a little bit of a different story. Doesn't mean that you don't necessarily need to stage it. It really depends on the space and it could help depending on how the floor plan is or how massive the property is, but it doesn't necessarily need to happen. So we've spoken about staging, used a couple of examples, and we've talked about making some improvements in the past in, in prior videos. Let's talk about the strategy of partnering with the right agent. There's a lot of agents that have entered the market um, because of how hot the market actually is. And a lot of them are offering discounted commissions. And that may seem like a really great idea. Hey, why would I pay someone 6% when I can pay them 4%, 5%, maybe even 3%, depending on what they were offering. Um, but discounting, partnering with a discounted, discount broker can oftentimes discount the price that you're going to get later on because, yeah, they're not as experienced, perhaps. They may not be as motivated. They may be trying to do this really quickly in bulk. Um, a lot of things can play into that, but it's really more you get what you pay for. <laughs> you simply said, you just get what you pay for. And I could use so many examples of where this is true, but um, the important part is to partner with someone that knows your market, knows your neighborhood, knows the conditions of other sales, and um, really is going to give you top level of service because that will make a difference to your pocketbook later end, I promise you. So multiple ways to capitalize on today's market. Um, if you have specific questions, be sure to post them in the comments below or reach out to me anytime, but also be sure to like and subscribe to this channel so it's shared with other people. Thank you so much for tuning in.